Hello my friends and welcome. I hope you're doing fine. And today we will have a look uh, to another exercise of exorcism. It's called Armstrong numbers. Let's go. Okay, so here is our next exercise, Armstrong numbers. So let's see what we have to do. So our introduction, an Armstrong number is a number that is the sum of its own digits, each raised to the power of number of digits. Okay, so we take an example. We leave these two because it's um, yeah not that good to understand. So we'll take this one. So we have uh, 153. It's three digit digits. So we take each digit. So we take one and we raise it to uh, three. So because we have three num uh, digits here, in our number so we will do that so we take the one here first one and raise it by three five two three three two three so each of these and we get numbers like one 125 and 27 and then we add all of that together and at the end we get a number it's 153 and if that number the the result is the same as the the first number that we gave uh, that we had in, in the beginning, it's it called an Armstrong number. So we see that 153, uh, it's the same as 153, yeah, of course. <laughs> so it's an Armstrong number. So if we take 154 and we do all the math, we see at the at the end we have, um, as a result, we have 190. And that's not an Armstrong number because we had at the beginning 154. So it's not the same. Cool. So this is what we have to do. And we, yeah, let's do it. So we copy this in the download. We go to um, terminal and we paste that in. Okay. So we downloaded our exercise. We copy this path and then say CD and go to the path and then open first in lib um, the armstrong numbers dot dart and then in test uh, the test file so then we have both files cool so i'll make it bigger so you can see and here as well cool so these two are, uh, are our files so we see here we have a class it's called armstrong numbers and in there, we need to put our code. Cool. So let's go to the test file and see how our method and our, uh, how our, what our method, method should be called and um, what is the return type and uh, the parameter type. Okay. So in here, we see a lot of uh, tests. Um, and then one of them is here. So we see there's a final bool result. So our return type should be bool. And then Armstrong number is our um, uh, class, as you see here. It's um, a variable from that class. So it's an object, basically. So and then after that, it says is Armstrong number. So that's our method name. I'll copy this. And in that method name, we have um, a parameter type of integer so if you go down here it's 5 it's 10 it's this one so there's no um, yeah there's no decimal numbers so it's all integer cool so we have bool as a return type and then our method name and our return type and our parameter type is int and we call this number. Yeah, that's cool. So, so we we get a number here, and then we should calculate as we saw um, before. So we do all these calculations here, and then return or at the end check if this the 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 sum is the same as the uh, inputted number and if that's this the case so we give it true so 
because it says here uh, is Armstrong number so it says yes or no so that's what we have to do okay cool so um, the first thing is we need to somehow have the digits like if I have a number um, we take the example if I have um, a number like 130, 153, yeah. So if I have this, how can I sp split this basically and get um, these digits and not the whole number? Because a number is an integer now and you have 153. So that's a number. That's it. So um, I'm not aware of... Um, of uh, a method or a function that can do that. So what we will do is to put all of this in a string. And if we have that number in a string, we can split it. So that's easier for us. So I'll say um, our variable should be call, should call a string, a string number, okay? And then we take number and they say uh, to string. So with this, we we have this number as a string stored in here. Okay. What we can do is I'll copy all of this because if we go here in Dart pad, so we can uh, make tests and, and test all of it that in our um, yeah, in our editor, we can't. <laughs> and I will paste it here, um, down here. So, just like this, make it uh, format. Cool. So I'll delete this. I'll make it a little bit bigger, maybe, yes. So I'll copy this one and say here, print. We give it uh, Armstrong number. And we give it number five, maybe, uh, or our number, 153. Cool. So this one should call this and then return um, either bool or whatever. Uh, true or false. Sorry. Cool. So we have our number here. It's the 153. And then we make it to a string. And now we have to split it. So... We learned that in last time, in, in our last exercise. Um, so the method is called split, and that's what we will do. So basically, um, we do this string number dot split, and our, oh, we should hide this. Go away, okay. So, what's happening? Okay, so it's uh, split and we should give it um, by what it should be split. So we say empty and and then it, it splits the, the number like one, five and three. So we have a, an array with that number, with that, um, with the digits in there. Cool. And after that, what we need to do is to go through each digit and yeah run a function up uh, over it so we run we say okay it's a three it's a, a number with three digits so it's one uh, to the power of three five to the power of three three four uh, to the power of three so we need to do that and last time we learned uh, something called fold and we use that here first so you get the idea if you um um, you need to check the last video so you, you have an idea what fault did do. So uh, now I will go fast over that. So if you need to, to know in detail what fault do, check the last video. Because today we will use map and reduce. So it's basically map and reduce is the same thing what fault is, but um, yeah, it's different methods, so we learn new stuff as we go on. 
Okay, cool. So we do dot fold, and then we say our initial value is zero, and then we had our uh, pref and cur, and oops, we do this, and um, we have our pref, and then we need to um, to to use something. It's called pow, and pow is um, is is a method that makes like to the power uh, to the power of something and this one uh, we need to import the uh, the library and we do it by saying import and we give it the li library name it's called dart math so that's the library that we need to use um, the pow method okay so after that, we say uh, pow, and then the pow, what does it need? So we have our number, x, and then the exponent. Okay, so we have uh, our number. So our number is now, is a, is a string number. So it's the, basically is the cur, and but it's it's a string so we can't do anything with it so we need to transform now the the string back to to integer so in that case we say uh, int dot parse um, and in here we need a uh, cur so with this is basically you returning the string to uh, an integer okay so in pow we need now the exponent and how do we get the exponent that's also uh, simple uh, we just say the um, that this number the string number and we we count the the characters and or we see how long that uh, string is so we say string number dot length okay so this gives you the length of the string and it's basically our the length of our uh, how many digits are in there. Okay. Cool. So basically, this is what we need to um, do. So we do here return, and now we can um, um, compare it to the given number. Like this one, if is the same as uh, the number that we get at the beginning. So we do, um, we say, what did we call it? So it's, um, is it number? So, so like this. Okay, so we have our number and we compare it to all of this. <laughs> And at the beginning, at the end, we should get um, uh, an, a result as a number. And then we, we check if both numbers are the same. If it's the same, this, um, this will give you true or false. So you don't need to do like um, the turn ternary function like here. Uh, yeah, is it true uh, or false? You don't need that because this comparison this comparison it gives you true or false so you don't need to do this yeah okay so let's run it so it gives you true and that's what we're expecting actually to have if we go back it says 153 is an Armstrong number okay let's check uh, 154 it should give us false back so we'll do here four run false perfect and that's basically how we do it in fold okay cool so we'll do the same thing but we will use um, not fold but map okay so I'll make another um, method let's call that bool is is arm strong 
number uh, we say here uh, fold with fold fold okay so we yeah we ignore this and uh, and this one we call is number so basically the same as our exercise so at the end we copy paste and yeah we do that okay so it's an int number and cool so basically um we have we need our string stringed number so is a number dot <clears throat> to string cool so until now it's the same as here and now we'll use map so what map does is basically um so one by one <laughs> so we do here um dot uh, split we need uh, the split method again and then we split it okay so and now we say dot map and let's check what map does okay so map returns a new lazy iterable with an element that are created by calling f on each element of the iterable in uh, iteration or order okay so you get an um what you get you get an iterable um so basically what it does we have our um split string so map get that and goes go through the um e over each digit <clears throat> in our string so and then uh, and then it makes some um, uh, and 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 it call this function uh, and yeah basically <laughs> how should i say it so basically is you have your we have our uh, number and our number is now a string and our, we split our string so we have um, 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 a list basically and we give this this list to a map and map goes over uh, each uh, list item and then it does something with it what what you want to do so in here we we need to say um what should uh, happen on every each element so uh, and what we need to do is to say okay raise it to the uh, to the power of something so you get basically a uh, a list of uh, integers and then the next step is you see the list but it raises to a power of something um, maybe we can do an example first okay so if i have a list of integers okay so list yeah that's that's okay and in this list um we give it some values so one two three okay and now so i'll go i'll say list dot map and then in map i'll say each element and to take the 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 element i'll i need to say x so i will i want to sp i need to specify it or put it in a variable so you we can use it and then i say x uh multiplied by i don't know two something like this so at the end you have um like two four six and and, and so on so if i print this yeah two four six so basically you have a list you get the list and you do something on each element so in our case we take one by the power of three five by the power of three four by the power of three so at the end you get a list back so you don't have it um, all at the end together this is why we need reduce but you get a list back okay 
So we do to mm, no map so and then we say x and then we say so now what should happen so basically everything what we did here we should uh, something is not correct okay so this this pow method should be called in here okay and we don't have curl we have x cool so this should uh, be called okay so what we have now is our uh, number split it each um, then we have a list and then we have each uh, item in the list is now to the power of three because we have a three digit here and now we need to put all of that together so and the way we do that is uh, so let me see so this is map at the end so we do dot and then at the end we see reduce so let's do this like this okay so it's easier to to read so we did map and then reduce and in here we have um, a and b <laughs> actually it's the same as fold so we have prev and cur and we give it here prev uh, plus cur so now it takes every element and added it added together so yeah cool so if i run this this should be this one uh, okay well, no we need uh, to return first so we return uh, the number is the number this and then let's see it's quite messy here so let's do like this cool now you can see it better so let's run it and see what we get we get false because it's 154 and if we change it to 153 it should be true perfect so what we need to do now is to copy this and then go to our calculator here uh, our editor here and then paste all that in and uh, yeah somehow make it prettier so we do this we do this yeah and then save it okay so we need our terminal now we need first to um, Get. we need to do this first so we get all the libraries and dependencies um, what we're missing still is actually this one this import so no we need we need that import so uh, our power method uh, works all right so let's do that again perfect cool and now finger crossed all tests passed oh no we need to do the the skip thing so now it, it will test one one test uh, come on yeah so we need to do false here skip false everywhere And here, so save this and then run this again. And at the end, it should say all tests passed. Perfect. Cool. So, this is the Armstrong numbers uh, exercise. I hope you learned something. And um, yeah, 
let's recapitulate what we did. We um, had a look at the um, yeah how to solve this exercise with fold first. So we did fold again, so it's now a stick in our head. <laughs> and then uh, we did the same exercise with map and reduce. And we saw what map did and what reduce did. And then we learned actually also uh, about how to convert a number to string and then how to uh, convert the string back to int again to do some calculation with it. And we also uh, imported um, a, a library, it uh, the Dart map library, and then used the POW method out of that. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, give me please a like and uh, sub to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Steve out. Ciao.